Well, kindergarten scientists, today we are going to draw one of the most dangerous animals on the beach. So watch out for this one. Oh, you think you know what it is? No, it's not a shark. It's the jellyfish. So today we're going to be drawing a jellyfish. Now, when you go to the beach and you see a jellyfish, you may just see, here's the sand, a blob like this, a clear blob. There might even be a center to it. it kind of looks like an egg um, and it, or jello. Some kids say, oh, it's a piece of jello. And I say, ooh, beware, don't touch. Um, what you can do though with a jellyfish that you find on the beach is gently with a stick, you can gently, very carefully, um, pick it up and flip it over with a stick. Never touch it with your fingers, don't touch it with your feet, but gently, gently turn it over. Um, and you might see some of these coming off of it, um, tiny tentacles. Um, and these tentacles can still sting even if a jellyfish is not alive. So that's why when we take classes to the beach, we always tell students to um, never touch with your hands a jellyfish. Okay, so today we're gonna draw a jellyfish for our book. And um, let's write at the top here. I can see a jellyfish. So I can see a jellyfish. J, J. That's right, it's a J. Jelly. Mm, it's a Y pretending to be an E. Jellyfish. And we know fish. F I S H. Now, scientists disagree about this name because does a jellyfish look like a fish? Not at all. And it is not. A fish. That's why some scientists um, call them jellies instead of jellyfish. Okay, so to draw your jellyfish today, you can draw a flat one like this one just laying on the beach, like a blob of jello. Or you can draw yourself a little tide pool, so um, a place where there is. Um, a collection of water at the beach and in the tide pool you can have your jellyfish floating. Remember jellyfish move by floating. So um, now we're gonna draw a jellyfish today with starting with the bell. The bell is the top of the animal and it looks like um, half of a circle. So I'm gonna draw a line like that and then I'm gonna draw half of a circle up on top like that. And then the tentacles are going to come out of the bell like that in the water. And, and then you might want to put in some plankton. They do eat plankton in the water. Um, they also eat fish that bump into it. Um, they just float. They, jellyfish have no eyes. They have no brain. They can't smell. They just bump into food um, as they um, move along in the water. Okay, so there is our jellyfish in its tide pool. Um, you can label it with these pieces coming out. Do you remember what they're called? Tentacles. So t, 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 tent, 
say curls, tentacles. And when we studied tentacles, when we studied the um, snails, that's um, their eyes are on the ends of tentacles. And then this part of the jellyfish is called the bell. And under the bell, there would be the mouth. You can't see it in my picture. Okay, so jellyfish are a favorite food of um, many sea creatures. And one in particular is the um, sea turtle. You can see I drew here. So, um, sea turtles look for jellyfish and they eat them. Sea turtles also eat something else in the ocean that looks like this. Um, let's see. So this one might say, um, Hmm. Albertsons. Um, you know what this is? It's a plastic bag. So to a turtle or some or other sea creature, um, when they see a plastic bag in the ocean, it reminds them of a jellyfish. So think about it. Hmm, how are they alike? One way is by their shape. Yeah, look at how the, um, the bag can float like this in the water, the plastic bag. And yeah, the handles do look like tentacles coming down. Hmm, so that's one way. And plastic bags are see-through. That means that light shines through them. Like light shines through the bell of the jellyfish. Light also shines through the plastic of the um, plastic bag. And number three. Jellyfish come in many different colors. Well, so do the plastic bags that end up in our oceans. So that's why um, many countries are trying to um, stop using plastic bags because of the damage that they are causing to ocean creatures that eat them. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming today, and I look forward to seeing you more as we study um, creatures at the beach.